When we project the body vertically upwards, we know that the only force acting on it is its weight, the gravitational force, which acts vertically downwards. That means that the body will be accelerating downwards with 10 meters per second squared. And it also means that the kinematics equations can be used to describe its motion mathematically. We also know from experience that if we throw the ball upwards, it will go and rise to a maximum height, stop momentarily, and then come back down until an external force causes it to stop. We also know that as it rises, its velocity decreases, and when it reaches maximum height, its velocity is zero. And then as it falls, its velocity continuously increases. If we project the body upward with a velocity of 30 meters per second, we know that at maximum height, the velocity will be zero. The motion from the point of projection to the maximum height is symmetrical. When the ball is thrown upwards at 30 meters per second, its speed will decrease at the rate of 10 meters per second every second until it reaches maximum height and then will increase downwards at the same rate of 10 meters per second every second until it reaches the launching point. The time it takes, therefore, to reach maximum height from projection point is identical to the time it takes to reach from the maximum height back to the projection point. We call that symmetry in physics. The situation we are presented with in this problem is that we have a projectile which is launched at the speed of 30 meters per second vertically upwards. Therefore, the initial velocity is plus 30 meters per second, while the acceleration is minus 10 meters per second squared as the body is in free fall. Once the body is launched, the initial velocity of 30 meters per second and the acceleration of minus 10 meters per second squared always remain constant. However, the velocity, displacement, and time are three variables that change together. If we know any one of these three variables, then we can find the other two using the kinematics equations. If we wanted to find the maximum height that the body will reach, we can utilize the fact that we know that the velocity at maximum height is known. In fact, the velocity at maximum height is zero meters per second. We can therefore make use of equation two to find what this displacement will be at maximum height. Substituting into equation two, we have the final velocity or the velocity at maximum height to be zero. The initial velocity is 30 meters per second. Acceleration is minus 10 and our unknown displacement S which represents the maximum height. S is therefore 45 meters. The body will therefore travel 45 meters to reach maximum height. To find the time it takes to reach maximum height, we can simply use equation one. Substituting into equation one with the initial velocity to be 30 meters per second, at maximum height to be zero meters per second, acceleration to be minus 10, we find the time it takes to get from projection point to maximum height to be equal to three seconds. Symmetry, therefore, says that it will take another three seconds to fall back down. Therefore, the time in flight is a total of six seconds. <laughs>